Sonic the Hedgehog, as you know, is based on the global blockbuster video game. How many of you guys have played the game in here? You guys know it, right? And how many of y'all saw the movie last night? So great. You can be louder, guys. I'm excited for this because we are going to bring out the cast right now of Sonic the Hedgehog. Come on out, you guys. I would love to know, the first thing that came to my mind is, when you guys found out that you were going to be in this movie that's based on a video game, how many of you have actually played the game, and did you run out to play it right away, to find out more about it? Ben, why don't you start? Sure. <laughs> hey, my name is Ben Schwartz. Uh, um, so I played the game when I was a kid. I played uh, one and two on the Genesis, and then I played Game Gear until the batteries ran out and all that stuff. And I, I got uh, this fun, exciting experience because I kind of got the role of Sonic as a test. Jeff Fowler and Tim Miller uh, came to me and they hit, they're like, hey, we're going to do a little test uh, just to see if we can sell it to studios. And they used me for that, and then luckily they liked my performance enough to keep me through it. So when I found out that I was going to be the voice, it was a huge deal because I had played that game for so long and loved it so much. And I love animation and all that stuff. So for me, it was a huge deal. I was very excited. Uh, yeah, same here. I, Sonic was, what, 1991, I think, when it came out. So I was uh, 42 years old. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. So, but I'm still a gamer, full-time gamer. No, I, I, but I did start with Atari and television and all the old gaming consoles. And then into you know Mario and then Sega Genesis came along and Sonic and it was fast and cool and it was like a little superhero so I loved that and I had to actually quit otherwise I wouldn't have uh, done anything productive with my life but a uh, big big time gamer for sure. I was not a gamer. Um, I feel that this is a game and I'm the perfect avatar. For this game. I'm fully loaded to the teeth. And, uh, and uh, but you know, I'm getting into it. I'm really getting into it. And I've found I'm in a perfect position because I can lose the game on purpose and still win. <laughs> <laughs> I'm robotic. <laughs> uh, yeah, 1991, I was uh, 13 years old and playing just everything, every game I could get my hands on. Played Sonic, and it was just, uh, I mean, it was a game changer. I mean, the, the little blue guy with that much personality and that much attitude. I mean, I think every teenager in the world kind of saw a little bit of themselves in Sonic. And I think that remains true to today, and that's why it was such an exciting opportunity uh, to, to translate Sonic uh, for a movie. And then we just could not be happier with where it landed. But it all started with 91, with that little blue guy with the attitude. And yeah, just so, so excited to, to be bringing this to, to audiences. Yeah, I grew up playing the game, so it's, it's just such an honor to be able to bring this character to the big screen. And we have a lot of kids in the audience here today, and I know they probably have some questions for you guys. We're going to get to those in a second. They're not out there. Where are your hands? Where are the kids? Where are the kids? You're the future of the world. The future of the world. <laughs> All right, so I have to talk to Donut Lord for just a second. I have to address a little bit yes. of a bromance. That was... Address the Lord? The Lord, yes. yes. The Lord of Donuts? There was definitely some romance, some really great friendship developing um, between you guys, uh, between Sonic and Tom. And I would love to know, first of all, what were you acting with? Like, what kind of physical things did you have to develop a relationship with? Uh, great question. I've tried to tune them out of my life, but uh, but uh, let's go back and uh, remind me what it, it was. A, it was a blue sandbag that I would hold when I had to hold Sonic, so it looked like I was holding something with weight. It was a little crudely made yeah. stuffed animal <laughs> with a vapid the, the, the sandbag was the good days. <laughs> the sandbag was the, 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 the <laughs> easy days. Like and then most of the time it was a tripod with a little piece of tape because obviously we couldn't have a, the, the character there because the animators were going to create the, the character. So I was trying not to lose my mind and go crazy, staring into, into middle distance space and talking to not to something that wasn't there. So, it, But it was cool because I got to use my imagination and sort of turn myself back into a kid again. And, and bring myself into that world and, you know, and uh, just rely on the imagination. Jim, you are such a joy to watch on screen. You act with every part of your body. Every, I know. Every, <laughs> every facial muscle, everything, we feel it and we enjoy it. <laughs> I would love to know, when you get a character like this, what sort of shapes and informs your choices when you um, are creating this character that we've never really seen before? Well, here's the thing. You wouldn't think much thought goes into it. 
But, uh, you know, every character has to have uh, an origin, you know? <clears throat> for, for Robotnik, I figured, you know, it's not really that fleshed out in the game, you know? So uh, I have to really think about where this guy comes from. And it's, it's, uh, it's genius coupled with a, a, a complete feeling of worthlessness, you know? Obviously, he wasn't loved. You know, he wasn't loved properly. He didn't get the affection he needed. And uh, he turned against the world and wanted to punish the world for that. You know, I believe that characters are like lightning. They come from the ground up, you know? It's deceiving. You think it's all on the outside, but it's actually from the center of the earth. And it's that original belief about yourself, you know? So uh, I think that this character is, is the absolute manifestation of pure ego, uh, with absolute uh, abandonment, and uh, and it's so much fun to play. Uh, but there's definitely uh, very much a nostalgia attached to um, this character and this game. What were some of the challenges you faced when you were creating a full-fledged feature film based on this video game character? Uh, I think it's just finding a way to really make everything as relatable as possible. I think you really want I mean, action is fun to design, comedy, you bring funny people together and they do funny stuff. Uh, I think what, really what makes movies like this really land and be great is heart and emotion and relatability. So yeah, it's a lot of fun that Sonic has super speed and that he's awesome and fast talking, but you want the audience to, to really be rooting for him on a deeper level, on an emotional level. So I think that creating that relatability and that kind of connection and for kids and parents and anyone of all ages to see a little bit of himself in Sonic and to be rooting for him for that reason, that, that really is what I think we worked the hardest on. And, and when people online said, no, we don't like it. <laughs> we go back and try again. <laughs> like, we got time, sure. <laughs> we'll make some, we'll make some changes. We'll it on it, man. Um, yeah. I want to talk a little bit about social media itself. For you guys as actors, it seems like it's such a prevalent thing that you have to be on nowadays, but um, do you really feel like you need to be pushing your latest um, uh, project or what you're working on or sharing behind the scenes? Like, what is your relationship with social media? Uh, 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 Whenever James is test driving a Ferrari, I see his uh, Instagram uh, lights up. <laughs> Do you see that or, 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 there's none of beaches and fast cars and uh, yachts on uh, so, social media, so I thought I'd show all of my, and I borrow one of the, my favorite things about sort of the campaign so far has been we do this thing called Fan Art Friday, and it's uh, basically reposting fan art, and it, it's one of my favorite things to see. Fart for short. <laughs> but to see artists, artists doing their doing their artwork, and, and you have the internet is there to create just to, to get it out there. And it but it is called fart. People. You just you just steamrolled Jim. It is called fart, right? It is called fart. Okay, it is now. <laughs> Hashtag fart. <laughs> Well, and, and I think one of the great things about the, the Sonic community is you'll see the fans supporting each other for the fan art and really encouraging each other now you to can't send the Sonic out. Yeah. <laughs> We're all thinking about the Hearts are funny, right, kids? Yeah. yeah. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so glad that we're talking about this. We brought this up. I'm so glad we're talking about farts. Right. So <laughs> we're getting really the better place to talk about farts. Go ahead, buddy. What was your favorite scene in the film? Favorite scene in the film. Favorite scene in the film. Oh, Ben. Uh, uh, my favorite scene in the film was having to do a, get, get to do a fight scene with Jim Carrey, <laughs> which, is, which is pretty cool. Inside a spaceship, an egg pod, I guess. Yeah, that was my favorite. And that's actually really was really incredibly fun for me too. That is doing an action sequence on top of this, you know, space uh, machine that uh, Robotnik's created, and and uh, and you don't see the whole thing when you're doing it. It's all blue screen, and the engines aren't on it yet, and everything like that. And then you start to see these incredible graphic uh, artists take over and embellish and create the rest of the scene. And I, I just I love the whole process. To me. I, I, I'm looking forward because I haven't seen finished graphics and everything like that. And what I've seen, the little glimpses I've seen, are really astounding and beautiful. So I, I love seeing it all come to, together like that. There's a scene where I play on a baseball, or Sonic plays on a baseball field, and I get to play all these different versions of Sonic, pretending he's like, you know, playing first base and in the outfield. And uh, 
Jeff was so great that I could kind of do little voices for everybody, so I'm kind of playing six versions of the same character, and it was so fun because exactly what Jim said, for me, I record something, and I have no idea what it's gonna look like, and then a year later, I see actual video of what Sonic looks like doing these things, and the animators did such an incredible job. The emotion, I had these little dots on my face with a camera, so anytime I emoted, they could copy it and kind of help with the animation of Sonic's face. So to see all that come to life was so, so fun. Uh, it's one of the reasons why I love uh, cartoons, animated movies, and all that stuff. I love your hair, it's very cool. <laughs> my name is Chase, and can any of you guys run as fast as Sonic? <laughs> <laughs> run as fast as Sonic. Oh my goodness. Toby, show him. <laughs> <laughs> I really wish I could. Remember, remember when Jim said, believe in your dreams? Toby, show him. <laughs> Run, seven hundred miles across. I'll meet you in the park. <laughs> <laughs> I right. just did a circle around the room. I felt a breeze go by. Um, all right, you guys, thank you so much. How many big round of applause for the cast?